Hallelujah. The word today is a very, uh, you know, it's a word beyond the regular. It's a little bit beyond the regular. And it's called mysteries of the mantle. Mysteries of the mantle. Glory to God. Glory to God. Mysteries. The Bible says in Daniel 2 and verse 22, it said, God would reveal the deep and secret things. It's not every day you would get that. Is that every day you would get that, but there would be times when God would reveal the deep and secret things. In Matthew chapter 13, it says, Thereby speak I to them in parables, for seeing they see not, hearing they hear not, neither do they understand. Somebody said mysteries somebody said mysteries we want to listen very carefully and write if you can mysteries of the mantle for world revival mysteries god has released upon you the mantle for world revival you're not perfect people you don't have perfect leaders some things could be better. You're not angels. Mm. But God has released upon you the mantle for world revival. The price to pay is high. But God has released the mantle. Someone said the mantle. Someone said mysteries of the mantle. You see, the mantle is mainly released during distress or departure of spiritual wounds, spiritual vessels, men and women of God who have been called to affect the world, not just a community, not just a country. There are a few people that God called to affect the world. I will even add another level beyond an individual and call it a company. Hallelujah. There are times when God will call a company and the Bible speaks of a company of prophets. And you heard as the moderator earlier was reading about the true Jesus movement. Someone said the mystery of the mantle. But one thing that is important is that the mantle is greater than the man. Come on, come on. Anybody heard about the great man? Anybody heard about Elijah? Hmm? The mantle outlived Elijah. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Are you praying? Are you praying? Yes. Somebody sent to remember to speak about the convention in Jamaica. In Jamaica, they love you. Yes, we praise God for that great convention in Jamaica that started last week Sunday, and they are going every night. It's awesome, great sermon. Uh, uh, it's, it's just awesome what's happening in Jamaica. We praise God for you. I believe tomorrow is the last day. We are praying for you. Tomorrow is the last day, I believe. We are praying for you. And you keep on praying for us. For world revival. Say amen. amen. Hallelujah. We praise God for those from here, some from Atlanta, who are there with them. Bishop Matthews and others who are there with them. In the map, man, Atlanta is something. Because Atlanta have sent Reverend Pilot to Lagos. He's in Lagos now. Amen. And then some other brethren from there are in Jamaica as well. My Lord, I thought they were a baby. I thought they were a baby. Glory to God. Someone said the mantle. Someone said the mantle. Mm -hmm. The mantle mm -hmm, 
the mantle those who receive the mantle many times become greater than the one who release are you there that's why Solomon built the temple that David could not are you there come on Solomon got rid of some of some enemies that David could not Abiathar Shimei Joab hmm? Moses did not enter Canaan but Joshua did are you there Jezebel did not get rid of I mean sorry help me out come on come on now Elijah did not get rid of Jezebel but Jehu did come on said some of the mysteries of the mantle Elisha did greater than Elijah do you want something greater than what your leader can do do you want something greater than a man the mantle is even greater than the mandate Holy Ghost help me here somebody some folks got the mandate but they ain't got the mantle oh my God my God some have the money but they ain't got the mantle come on some have the media but they ain't got the mantle some even have miracles but they ain't got the mantle are you me somebody glory to God so we're talking about the mantle that God has given to complete the work with the mantle the work will get completed in spite of who in spite of what happened the mantle which was upon Elisha when he died he thought the mantle was over the mantle was still working after the death of Elisha because they threw a dead man on Elisha's grave come on somebody go ahead and bury me come on somebody I will rise again come on they threw a dead man on Elisha's grave and that dead man was resurrected somebody praise his mighty name somebody praise his mighty name some of the mysteries of the mantle yes 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 glory to God one of the first mystery of the mantle is what I call write it down biblical signs and wonders we can't be finished today I just stop wherever we we, we are able to biblical one of the mysteries remember I say mysteries now of the mantle is biblical signs and wonders hallelujah hallelujah one of the biblical signs and wonders that God has released upon the true Jesus movement that God has released upon this move of God is the ninth hour is the ninth hour and a book was even written on it but a lot of folks don't understand how biblical the ninth hour is it was at the ninth hour that God came down from heaven and visit Adam and Eve in the garden and said where art thou are you there with me somebody it was at the ninth hour that Moses approached God on Mount Sinai come on somebody someone said mysteries it was at the ninth hour that Moses that, that, that Elijah confounded uh, the prophets of Baal come on upon the mountain what the mountain again Mount Carmel say amen. amen global biblical signs and wonders come it was at the ninth hour that Jesus gave up the ghost Matthew 27 verse 46 and about the ninth hour Jesus cried with a loud voice saying Eli Eli Lama Sabachthani that is to say my God my God, why hast thou forsaken me? 
the mystery of the mantle come on that which is mightier than a man God will release biblical signs and wonders hallelujah it was the ninth hour that Paul was called to the Gentiles it was at the ninth hour that Cornelius received the confirmation of Paul's call to the Gentiles it was at the ninth hour which was the hour of prayer it was the sixth to the ninth hour that there was darkness come on somebody are you with me somebody the ninth hour is more embedded in scripture than all other hours one hour two hour three hour four five six seven eight ten eleven twelve the ninth hour is more embedded in the bible come on not all other hours come on somebody somebody praise the lord let the mysteries come upon you let the mysteries because god god says in psalm 25 14 he said the secret of the lord is with them that fear him and he showed them his covenant the bible said in deuteronomy 29 and verse 29 the secret things belong unto the lord our god but those that are revealed belong unto us and to our children forever that we may do all that is revealed come on say amen the bible says in matthew 13 17 that god will reveal things to you that even the prophets and the righteous men would wish they heard it is the mysteries these are the things that jesus said you cannot bear them now i can't tell you now but in the last days you will hear them if i tell you some i was talking to a pastor today and i was telling him if i tell you some of the things that a, that, 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 that a visionary do, does you don't want to hear it for the work of god because he has to sacrifice he has to give away he can't tell you what he give away glory to god glory to god i was in i was in africa and I left my nice expensive coat, but I can't tell you why I did. You would never understand. You would never understand why I left my coat. You'd have to pray. You'd have to pray. You see why I left my, now I ain't got no nice coat now. And my best coat, expensive one left me, I've got some old one here to, to church today. Come on somebody. I believe I told my wife why. Come on, you wouldn't understand why. You don't see my big coat in Africa? That big, nice coat. Come on, you should have. Come on, man. Come on, come on. I left it. It's a mystery. But when I look and see the church, come on, somebody on the move. Come on, maybe one day I tell you the mystery, but it's a part of it. If you, if you, if you pray, you'll probably understand. It's a part of it where I left my coat. And they, they don't need that in, in, in Lagos because Lagos is hot, hot, hot. Come on now. So I wasn't trying to warm up anybody. My God of mercy. Oh, God of God. Come on, come on. Come on, come on. Somebody, somebody said mystery. Somebody said mystery. Be careful or you fight the move of God. You don't understand the mysteries. You don't understand the mysteries. The mysteries are beyond you. Come on, come on, somebody here somebody praise his name somebody say mysteries of the mantle when god have to get something done some folks couldn't understand why he use a harlot mystery some folk can't understand why god use this president i don't care who you vote for come on somebody if you fight me you can't win i'm giving you revelation is either god or it's not god i'm gonna get in trouble here somebody here you, you, be careful that you don't understand the mysteries why God would use a womanizer come on somebody come on I'm, I'm not like some preacher going like he's okay he's like he ain't okay I know that's what you want me to say he's not okay but God 
God mysteriously come on choose him <laughs> oh shakabaka in the same way you choose a prostitute come on now 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 no, no. come on son. you have to understand mysteries you have to be careful how you challenge a move that God has ordered to change the world Come off the normal, you won't get it. Ooh. Imagine two folks huh, are with Jesus and one providing food. How you got to eat? And one say, I ain't looking about no food. Come on, I'm staying at the feet. Come on, somebody, come on. I ain't looking about no food right now. I don't care if he don't eat. Come on, somebody. That's crazy. That don't make any sense. Somebody teach you to gotta feed him. Come on, I, I ain't looking. I'm going no kitchen. I'm going to no kitchen. I, I want to hear stuff. Come on, I want to hear. Speak up. Speak up, Jesus. Come on, you're not. You're not with me. You're not with me. Somebody here. Come on, it's mystery. Folks are understand, just want to go normal. Keep up ourselves. Just how we understand is the normal. The normal can't carry this world right now. Can't get the job done. Hallelujah. Somebody say mysteries of the mantle. The mysteries carry biblical signs and wonders. As I, as I see the Lord doing among you. Come on, somebody. The, the other, another mystery that we can't finish is global prophecies and revelations. Global. Global. How could God choose, you know, some little folks, some little nobodies? We make mistakes like anybody, but we seek to live right. Seek to have the fear of God. So now we overdo this, overdo that, say this, we shouldn't say. Sometimes you have, you know, conflict between you or whatever, go on. But God, come on, someone say mystery. But God supernaturally, hallelujah, anoint you. Select you and anoint you to release prophecies upon the earth. That it's, it's going to be hard. So many top folks have spoken and they have said it. I don't like to say it, but I got to say it. They said they have never seen a ministry prophesy like you. Full most unprecise prophecy and fulfilling prophecy. Come on, the Haiti earthquake. Anybody heard of it? Come on, somebody. The Chile earthquake. Come on, somebody here. The southern, the most southerly part of South America is stretched. Yeah. And an earthquake is about to strike. Yeah. That when the pastor for the largest church in, in, in Central America, when he saw that prophecy, come on somebody, he said we got to get the leader of this church to address the world conference. Come on somebody. Come on, somebody here. Come on, somebody. Someone said, Mysteries of the mantle. Someone said, Mysteries of the mantle. The Indonesia earthquake. The New Zealand earthquake. The Italy earthquake. Pestilence, Ebola. I'm talking about affecting the world. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Wars. ISIS. God cause. My God. These global prophecies and revelations. These mysteries. Mysteries. Glory to God. Luke 21, 25. It says, and there shall be signs in the sun and in the moon and in the stars. And upon the earth, 
distress of nations with perplexity the sea and the waves roaring mysteries somebody said mysteries somebody said mysteries so the first mysteries i talk about are what biblical signs and wonders hmm. number two global prophecies and revelation number three unprecedented acts of god glory to god only today i heard one of the prophets who came here all the way from south africa what did he say he said these are the acts of the apostles he said what i see among you are the acts of the apostles he did not only speak it here but he speak it in africa he speak it other places but there's a move of god glory to god a quarter in New York and what's happening there my God is just like the acts of the apostles come on someone unprecedented glory to God acts of God hallelujah someone said mysteries someone said mysteries one of the acts of God that God has raised up among you is world vision day. Hallelujah. It doesn't make sense any person or ministry or entity or organization fight against worldwide vision day. It doesn't make sense they try to replace it because they will not be able to replace it because this act is the of the body come on somebody the body of Christ is not a great man glory to God is not a great woman come on somebody glory to God you may be led by by, by, by somebody who is flawed in one way or the other but his flaw is not the important thing it's the empowering hallelujah of the brothers and the sisters the men and the women come on the girls and the boys black and white come on tall and short get me some water fat and thin come on somebody glory to god preaching <laughs> it's over time oh i'm finished my lord god someone said in mysteries stand up everybody my god glory to god glory to god Someone said, mysteries. And the acts of God, the acts of God, worldwide vision day, acts of God mean unprecedented, mean we have never seen it like that before. Say amen. amen. Say amen. amen. Someone said, mysteries. Someone said, mysteries of the mantle. And God released the mantle because of persecution, because of attacks. Glory to God. Glory to God. Receive the mantle. Receive the mantle for world revival. Isaiah 66 and verse 8, he says, Who hath heard such a thing? Wow. Unprecedented. Who hath seen such a thing? Hallelujah. Shall the earth be made to bring forth? in one day somebody praise the lord for worldwide vision day hallelujah hallelujah turn to your neighbor and say happy worldwide vision day the next one you gotta say that let it become normal say to your neighbor happy worldwide vision day say happy worldwide vision day one more time happy worldwide vision day Let, may as well you practice it because this thing is going to become so common they're going to be looking for it hallelujah it's the acts of god it's the mystery hallelujah unprecedented acts of god and let me just announce the others on fettered advance in the move of God unfettered in spite of the attacks 
in spite of the persecution in spite of the strongholds of the enemy there's nothing stopping the move come on can't you see the largest church hallelujah the opening in the largest church glory to god and and when god opened door don't quick to give all the details and talk about waiter and all those come on stay diplomatic and spiritual come on but god not gonna send an angel say like a waiter <laughs> come on now, now you lock off on me and think that i did are you with somebody when god move choose your language stay spiritual they are the job i got is somebody recommended it that's what you say no an angel wouldn't recommend it come on but god sent it and he chose not to use an angel come on he chose to let somebody recommend you ain't saying amen with me come on praise the lord with me come on It's not the man, it's the mantle. Someone say, I receive it. Hallelujah, in the name of Jesus. Keep standing, I'm just announcing it. So, I have biblical signs and wonders. Am I right? Global prophecies and what? Revelation. Then I had what? Unprecedented. Sorry for that big word. Unprecedented acts of God. Then I said, unfettered advance. You are moving forward one preacher came and said that many will join across the world it's happening so much so much from brazil you know from dominican republic from parts of africa from united kingdom even of other languages it's happening so fast like it was prophesied glory to god zechariah 8 and verse 23 Oh, before I quote that verse one man of God came all the way from Tanzania and said get ready for promotion am I right Zechariah yeah. 8 23 he says thus said the Lord of hosts in those days shall it come to pass that ten men shall take hold of all languages of the nation take hold out of all languages of the nations even shall take hold of the skirt of him that is a jew saying we will go with you for we have heard that god is with you someone said mysteries someone said mysteries that's number four number five jesus persecution benefits every persecution that comes upon you will benefit you and will benefit the move of God for the things that happen unto me happen unto me for the furtherance of the gospel Luke 6 22 blessed are ye when men shall hate you and when they shall separate you from their company wow and shall reproach you hmm, and cast your name as evil for the son of man say verse 23 of luke 6 for in like manner did their fathers unto the prophets are you there somebody are you there somebody someone said mysteries of the mantle it was a mysteries of the mantle for world revival there are other mysteries the last mystery I'm talking about today is what I call adversarial distress. Adversarial distress. Those who make themselves adversaries. Those who make themselves enemies. Those who make themselves attackers will not pay a small price. It will not be a small price. The price is in connection with the magnitude of the mantle oh glory to god come on come on come on the price that will be paid 
for those who seek to hinder seek to damn it seek to hurt huh, will be connected to the magnitude of the mantle and the magnitude of the mandate the same way that God have anointed you to affect the earth is earth shaking consequences will be paid oh somebody need to listen to me it will be world shaking consequences that will be paid have you wondered how one person one person would step down from their place and say i don't want to hear god anymore i don't want to hear god voice anymore and yet you are part of a world moving world moving move of god affecting the world i, I don't want to hear god no more and within days of you abandoning the voice of god the country that you are from world shaking earthquake hit it 250,000 dead days after say, I don't want to hear God had you heard God you would have been able to warn you would have been able to save your people oh you can say an amen with me here so. somebody said mistress you gotta got get the mysteries that can't un experience it. you gotta you gotta see the trends one of the thing about a prophet or a visionary or a watchman or a seer is that you're able to discern the trends is it interesting that only days after you attack the move of god the country is hit again you gotta understand i said mysteries you're not coming with me you know, coming. Isn't it interesting? Isn't it mysterious that those days after you attack the prophetic arm of the move of God, the country is hit again. You gotta connect it. That's like an Achan causing trouble for the nation. Oh my God, I'm actually, I told it was deep. I heard God say, Satan has chosen Achan to destroy a nation. You have to pray about this. Some folks won't get it until later. Some folks won't get it until I hear from now. Satan has chosen Achan to destroy a nation. And that choice of Achan chosen by Satan will not only affect that nation, but Satan has set it up that they're going to go from a nation to a clan, to a household, just like what happened in Egypt. When God sent Moses to talk to Pharaoh, and Pharaoh would not get it. I hit me somebody, someone said mysteries. Pharaoh would not get it, and God stopped from far behind. Somebody said nation. Someone said nation. God started from far behind, for God is a merciful God. He started out very small, then inch closer and closer with the next plague. With the next plague, with the next plague, the next plague, the next plague, until it got to the offspring. It got to the offspring of Pharaoh. Folks don't understand this thing. You gotta be careful. You gotta open your eyes and see the trends. Come on, see the things. Come on, somebody, and make sure. That you do what gotta be done but somebody say mysteries mysteries of the mantle revival is in the air revival is in the air and god has set it up hey! 
You got to look in your clan for the Achan. Come on, somebody. You didn't hear what I said. You got to search your clan for the Achan that has been chosen to destroy your nation. By their despise of prophecy, by their mock of prophecy, my God, mm, by their abuse of prophecy, come on, glory to God. You gotta search and find your acre. It's interesting. Oh my God, that's too deep. My God, I'm mercy. Oh, that's too much. Somebody said revival. revival. Hallelujah. The mysteries of the mind. The Lord, we thank you for your word. We thank you, Lord, for unfolding even a little part. Glory to God. So we can know a little more. For your word, Lord, said a secret belong unto you. But that which you reveal, we must use. We must utilize. Glory to God. Somebody just take a few moments and ask the Lord to minister unto you. You don't want to be in the dark. A lot of folks are talking, talking because they are in the dark. The Bible said the way of the wicked is as darkness. Proverbs 419. And they know not at what they stumble. And they run and be quick to talk about things. They understand not. God said, it ain't time now. Go ahead and pray. Come on. First Corinthians 14. To be children in understanding. We got to be ahead of the world. Ahead of the heathen. Ahead of the ungodly. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Yes, Lord. Release it upon me understanding the mantle the mysteries of the mantle for world revival go ahead take a, take another 30 seconds glory to God you're gonna find that you need it the enemy don't want you to have it he want it to be normal he want your eyes to be blinded he want your mind to be blinded come on somebody glory to God he don't want you to discern him he don't want you to spot him. Oh, he don't want you to remove him from your mind. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. I want you to take a moment right now before I pray the general prayer. Take a moment right now and rebuke the enemy. Rebuke the beast. Rebuke the spirit of the beast. Oh, my gosh, from your mind from your mind in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus the spirit that would seek to darken your mind blind your mind Jesus Jesus In the name of Jesus. Every aorta of the beast. Every aorta of the Antichrist. Every aorta of the spirit of the Antichrist. I rebuke from this church. In the name of Jesus. I rebuke from every brother. Every sister. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Lord Abba Baba Satara. In the name of Jesus. Mm. Glory to God. Glory to God. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. She 